He's giving away David Tua from Auckland Pounds. In at 200. See how David does here. Championship fight, so eight heavyweights, six, seven, eight. Ask Vinnie Mendeloni to stay with us now, and, and we'll bring him in from time to time. Of his 51 wins, power that we know about David. Look at that neck on him. That's that time. The fight that he lost to Chris Bird is Monty's not quite as slick as Chris Bird. So, you know, ETV, we don't want you to go anyplace because this could be quick or it could be down there in the crisp weather. Down there, it's below zero, you know. Boxing David. But David's a guy where what he has to do. Work from the outside, and then he, he's wearing that pink on the on the trunks, and you see him with this guy. That could happen because David cut for the left hook, so you got to look out for that. Monty can hit the left hook, and he backs him off. And you know, there was Ben at the waist and come to the body. No real body shots by David. As I say that, he gives a half-hearted right hand body. He's trying to throw more. There's the left hook again. And another left hook. That puts Bonnie up against the rope. And he's hit him and hurt him a little bit. Let's see if Bonnie can battle off the rope. David nails him to the right. Kill zone where he can do it. Bonnie throws last two. What age was David? Played that song my way when he fight is my way on the part of Monty Bear. This guy is so pumped now. He's not pushing. He's not going crazy. Throw some right hands. If Monty can take him, that's the way he fights. Monty misses with the right. Bent over at the waist. That's very dangerous. And he put trouble and he got out of it. He was holding on, but then uh, he, Monty fires back. Yeah, he kept his head right there. Yep. And with us, our principal's David Tua with the this fight to his mother suffering from cancer. And as uh, Monty walks back on his heel. Monty tries to right hand up, trying to defend against that left hook. Uh, David can shot underneath that right elbow either. And Bob, like you said, he, uh, Monty's uh, that left hand's low. I think David come up with a right hand. Out the 12 rounds of work he got because when he get hit with that left hook, he was seven week camp. He was in. Oh, big left hand! Monty flowing flow and he gets tagged in the world of boxing if he could defeat David Tua, and he's got in New York where he's very popular. David starts looking like he's huffing and puffing a little bit because his rounds go ahead. Uh, what are the Absolutely, and you know, and you can see shots, and, and he's still right in there, and he's going to bow to adrenaline. Well, we're in the closing seconds now, round number three. Monty got a white trim. David's got that pink trim on his trunks. That's a right hand. Legs back. He's jamming. Gets hit. Right hand again. That's the third right hand. Keeping the right arm to go ahead and fend off that left. Is that kill zone because David's sneaking into it right up on you. There he is, Monty. And Monty's soft with his jab right now because he's squared up some room. Back to the jab. Big left hook that time. And another left hook by But he looks heavy in the thighs. Low, and then works his way up. That's going to be the end of this fight. He's hit him with three good to do it. As you by your buddy, Monty Barrett. Yeah, you know, I think it's going to, uh, it's going to be 40 seconds. He's had a wonderful professional career. And David nails him. Crunches a left hook. Monty's ready to go. He trans over gets fight. Money bags. He looks very heavy in the thigh. The jab. Without that, he's going to get hit. He and not only that, but he in, just, in his corner, that it doesn't look like he's fit enough to throw combination. He's in as good a shape as a 39-year-old guy with his ability can be. This, world. this is the best puncher and the best fighter that David fought in his comeback. This is a and the release, David Hay. David has fought a couple of, and then Michael Moore. Huh? David has the power. We don't have an American heavyweight. I don't mean, know. You know, in the United States, if you go to Australia, you, know, you can change that in a hurry. And on top of being a crowd pleaser, as is Monty. And you know, in the Oceanside area in San Diego, where I live, the Samoan population that they absolutely adore David enough because this hurt business. And he hasn't heard of David at all. Next round, David off. He didn't come explosive to this, uh, Vinny. Right now, Monty. Spar like you did with Vinny Mataloni. Keep throwing punches, keep throwing punches, and that's something he's not doing. That's it. You know, he has it today. It's one right there, but he just missed. But he fight as opposed to, and the reason for that is because of punches. You can attest to it. Hurt. You know, this is almost like Friday Island. I fought David too. Also, in survival mode, really not give fifth. And I gave Vinny, uh, brother. I gave him. David had better win this round if he wants to continue. To Absolutely, stick and jab out, but it's not just with both hands, mostly his left hook. Box him in this round, too. And that would be two in a row for Money. Money hits the loop in this round, I think. So if Money wins this round, he wins. Uh, him. Let's see if he can come in. Resort and Casino in Atlantic. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan with Ben along with us, the heavyweight. He's doing a nice job with his jab, double jabbing, double last round. David's not busy enough. No, not a Monty. Is that he gets good movement, you know? It's just they to walk him into the ropes and do your damage. Oh, it's a danger being out for nine yet. David won every single round in the out for nine yet. Right there. He's a good fighter. We honestly didn't expect this.
but he's really a boxing David and he's doing it if it gets uh, set up. He's boxed my way and he's doing it his way. <laughs> sure is. Right now, Monty's shifting left to right. Right now, totally out of rhythm is David Tua, not able to set on the right shoulder. They're never sitting in one spot in front of Tua. He can't stop. It's too hard, blown. Give the different angles. And... Yeah, no, he... but Israel is not a freak because Vinny, you are at the level that Monty's at. Like uh, Roger Bloodworth has said, his trainer. Not if he's going to pull this thing up. Uh, the, 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 right, the jab in the right hand. Steal these rounds from David because David's not landing anything. Bopping a jab out, pumping a jumper, jab in his face. Like he's behind, uh, his face would bend him down. And... David's got to pick up the work rate. But it's a great thing. One punch, especially from a, a David better know waiting in long. His David is just not doing often enough. There's a big shot and was fairly low. His legs aren't right. We're out of time in the eighth round. And then the, again in the fourth round when he landed a big shot. His David's a little staggering in his legs right now. He's got it back in his legs. Third man in the ring, Randy Newman back. I mean, that's been David's style from day one. Shots, but he can't land a big shot. There's a body shot that time. He attack. And especially when Monty Bear switches to us. When you switch to somebody, it slows you. This isn't a street fight, folks. There's more to this. He will lunge at him soon. He's just a very good round for David Tua. Yeah. Because you see David Tua, he won. Absolutely right. You know as a professional athlete yourself. We saw a big right hand. this fight and Vinny I think you and I both agree with that scoring yeah when you have close round so David had better make it to an Australia says that the IBF is getting gonna win this fight he hasn't done that. Atlantic City now and I think it's the body shots from David I think it's taking a toll David's really been picking up the stoop because David has landed better body shot since his comeback on money but he's gonna make it definitive I think because this fight is close enough I know he was throwing shots of yes. And a good body attack by David too is a taller than him. And that's an area that's open on him. Is David back with the left this uh, tenth round? The right hand has a good right. Hand. And there it is, Monty's making a little surge right here. Yeah, he is making a big shot on the one of the only low blows in the fight though. He's landing a, a great straight right hand. He's hitting David pretty flush and David looks hurt right now. David looks steal his right react by shaking the head no in that face. But David what? If Monty does that, it would be if Monty David won the first two minutes of the right there. In the tent. The right hand. Right. Vinny has it someplace in me. You guys need to win both rounds. Under the tutelage of fights by winning the last 20 seconds of rounds, so I put it on my sheet as 10 10. A Barrett's in front in my heart, and Monty's out boxing it. Monty's gonna be interesting in it. That's what he needs. This in New Zealand. What a fight. Big left hook. And there's the right mark. Six seconds now, the 11th. And left hook lands. Misses with a bit of. Or he couldn't ring, and he's got the throw. He goes upstairs. Wow. Where's the fire? There's the world beckons. A great effort by David Tua. Let's see if we get it. Here he comes, trying to finish up Monty. Throwing desperation shots. Oh. And that's exhausted by him. David has to knock him down. Caught him with the right hand again. Monty battles back. David's almost in desperation. And so is Monty. Oh, Look at him battle back. It's a pair of six oh. Look at this. Oh. It's down. It's up to five and six, but he was hurt by Monty. He's hurt. This is well, and the closing comes in the box. It's all over. Watch this, and we'll see the point deduction. David has him. He takes him, and he intensely throws. Unbelievable. Remember what I said. You never know the judges. This fight. This fight Remember how I said that uh, as you watch this replay, the best David could hope for is a draw the way it eventually happens. He get knocked down. That's the best that could happen. It's a draw. A majority.